The University of California, San Francisco's The Kidney Project has developed a bioartificial kidney that will be transplanted inside the body to cure end-stage renal disease. This is the brand pitch for The Kidney Project. The target market for the Kidney Project is primarily adult-oriented. We have patients, donors, the medical and research fields, and then government institution. Specifically, we will be targeting the patients themselves, parents of patients, donors, and doctors. The color scheme chosen for the Kidney Project is clean and simple, black, white, and blue. Knowing that reactions to colors can be biological, cool colors calming the neurons, the color blue was the best fit to incorporate into our brand. Blue is known as the color of trust and responsibility and exhibits security and confidence. The color blue is also a conservative color. It is safe and non-threatening and the most universally liked color of all. For these reasons, it is common that brands in health and wellness, corporate and medical fields use blue in their brand. The use of white space is portrayed inside the logo with the letters UCSF on the blue artificial kidney design. We chose to do this for multiple reasons. First, UCSF is actually printed on the implantable kidney itself, so it resembles the true model. Second, the kidney project is only one section of the research that UCSF works on. So, we wanted there to be a separation between the research provider and the facility versus the actual organization itself. By placing UCSF on the design and not in the actual title, of UCSF's The Kidney Project, we have successfully made The Kidney Project its own brand within UCSF, instead of having to rely on the brand of the University of California, San Francisco. The typeface we decided to use for The Kidney Project is Palatino, a serif typeface. We chose Palatino because serif typefaces are associated with stability, reliability, and maturity. Also, older adults read serif typefaces faster. Considering our target market is primarily adults, this was the most appropriate choice for the Kidney Project. For the Kidney Project stationery set, which includes the business card, letterhead, and the envelopes, the logo is placed in the top left corner. As I've learned that it is more pleasing for the eye to have colors placed on the opposite area of the page from each other, I chose to place the website URL in the same blue, but in the bottom right hand corner. Not only does this keep the color scheme consistent, but it is much nicer to read than just all black typeface. When designing event materials, Dr. Shuvo Roy, the director of the Kidney Project, wanted a professional medical vibe to the design. He also specifically wanted the invitations to easily be distributed. For this reason, we decided to make an invitation, displayed on the left, that will be a 5 by 8 postcard. This will be on thick paper and also keeps consistent with the blue color scheme. On the right is our poster for the event. This poster incorporates a photograph of the inspiration for the event being held a Halloween ball for donors and professionals. The first advertisement will be printed in the American Association of Kidney Patients magazine, and it'll be our large ad, displayed on the left. This magazine is dedicated to improving the quality of life for kidney patients throughout education, advocacy, and fostering of patient communities, and is printed in hospitals and research facilities nationwide, but its largest retailers are in the state of California. For this reason, we will include the Sinners and Saints event details in the full page advertisement. On the top portion of this ad, we will include the Kidney Project logo and a photo of the actual bioartificial kidney itself, as well as our research project description. The bottom portion of the ad will be dedicated to the invitation. Lastly, the Kidney Project's contact information will be provided at the bottom of the advertisement in the same Palatino typeface as the logo, but in a smaller size. The donation link will also be present above the contact information. This link will be in the same size typeface as the heading as it is uh, important for the audience to see and remember the donation link. We remain in budget for the large advertisement as we have been able to take on sponsorship role with this magazine for $500 for half a year. So we will begin to run this ad six months prior to our Sinners and Saint event on October 31st. The small ad on the right is an ad for Kidney Buzz. This is a blog for kidney patients and families and will essentially be a smaller version of the large ad run in AAKP magazine. The difference is that we will not include the event details for Sinners and Saints because we are having this ad run for an entire year and are not only targeting the state of California anymore. On another note, since this ad is being converted to a web ad, we will now have the ability to incorporate links when clicking on it. Instead of having multiple features, 
To keep it simple, Dr. Roy wanted to revamp our donation page on the Kidney Project's website to contain information and not only do the donation box. Thus, when clicking on this ad, a new tab will be opened to create the Kidney Project's website donation page. To conclude this brand pitch for the Kidney Project, I will be explaining the Facebook ad. With the Kidney Project's $500 remaining in their budget, our second smaller ad will run on Facebook and will link the viewers to the Kidney Project's official Facebook like page. These ads are generated through Facebook website, but you have the ability to design the information, images, and buttons provided. For this ad, we will include the logo and image of the artificial kidney itself and this short description. Finally, on this ad, there will also include a Donate Now button that instead of just taking the viewer to the like page, it will directly open the Kidney Project's website donation page in a new tab.